Howdy. Uh, welcome to the Raven Tale Podcast. I'm Jerry Underhill. Uh, in this podcast, we're going to uh, almost always start off with a short story, usually uh, written by me, um, always narrated by me. And then we'll move on to interview a guest, whether it be a doctor or a U.S. ambassador, a fellow Raven Tale or Dusty Saddle publishing uh, author or anybody else who might have something uh, to share uh, regarding the intersection of you know, the story and in real life what we all experience and what we all feel on a daily basis. So uh, if you want a, a better version of this audio, um, not this little intro video, but the actual stories and the interviews, um, you can find this on uh, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, uh, most places podcasts exist. Uh, like I said, it's called... Uh, Raven Tail Podcast. I am Jerry Underhill. Uh, you can find me on all the social medias at jbear3. Thanks. A cold, winty night. Goose pimples raise on our flesh. We should get a jacket. But we don't want to go inside yet. We want to keep staring up at a black sky speckled with twittering light. We know we rotate around a sun. We see it as it rolls over the horizon. We see it as it reflects off the moon. We know we'll feel it on our skin soon as it climbs hours later to burn the dew away. We know we dance around clusters of stars. They'll stay above us as we sleep. We draw shapes in them now as we gaze. We know their dust is in us. We know it's unique that in all the cold void of that deep, dark above, there is life here. So much life on our craggy, wet rock. Billions of organics have been born, died, and decomposed. Rock has molted, smashed, and weathered. It exists now as dirt, layers on layers of old, and we shuffle over it, kicking it along as we turn to walk into our home. We know we left our caves to build such homes long ago. And when we dig down, we know we find the remains of those who toiled to survive long before us. And that others, one day, might dig down and find us. As we walk into the house, we peek into the darkened corners. We can't help it. We glance out the window before we lock the door. The sound of the bolt sliding satisfies us. We move to our bedroom. We turn the light on before we walk in. We'll be wary as we shower, and as we change, and as we slip into the bed for the night. Many of us will leave the TV on. Many of us get to pull the warmth of a person we love into our bodies. But a part of us will remain that same wary. Through the nights, our brains will wrestle with it. Because we know that it's not just layers of dirt we've built upon. There are tales down there. Stories. And sometimes the remains of the old crawl up through the dirt. From the wilds of an ancient yesteryear. To rattle our bones with haunts and sinister reflections. It was a world where the immaterial was alive in our hearts. The blood in our veins feels it still. It remembers the tingle on our skin and that it lifted the hair from our arms. But in the incomprehensibly infinite void of all that cold, deep, dark above, on top of all that's passed before, all the structures and culture we've built atop, and in the midst of our terrors, there are stories that wrap us in warmth. And we let them because it's real. We love them because their warmth is real. Because their hope is real. The meaning they bring us is real. Welcome. This is Raventale.